The VCE physics examiners have gone crazy with oscillating spring questions. Today I'm going to show you what questions are being asked, a practical experiment you can do, and how to handle these sorts of questions on your exam. In 2013, 14 and 15, the oscillating spring questions caused problems. Um, the problems stem from not knowing what sort of energies were happening in the system as the spring was oscillating. The first thing I suggest is do an experiment. Videotape a mass on a spring oscillating up and down. You can then put this into some video analysis software and track its vertical position as a function of time. You can use this information to find the gravitational potential energy and the elastic potential energy stored in the spring. You can then use this data to calculate the kinetic energy. Then compare the data to what your tracking software calculates the kinetic energy to be. Mine's not too bad, I reckon. You can also plot the elastic potential energy and the gravitational potential energy as a function of the mass's vertical position. If you had done this before the 2013 or the 2014 exam, you would have been at a distinct advantage because the examiners asked you to interpret this very graph. The point at which most students run into trouble is calculating the maximum speed as it moved up and down. Only 7% of students in 2014 were able to obtain full marks for calculating this speed. In order to answer this question in its intended way, students had to assume that the maximum speed occurred at the midpoint of its oscillation. This is true, but may not have been completely obvious to students. In 2015, the wording of this question changed to read, find the speed at the midpoint. Some students got strategic and used this derived formula to calculate the maximum speed. A very easy way to grab three marks. But be wary, this formula will only work if the mass is dropped from the unstretched height of the spring. If it is dropped from higher, such as in a, a bungee jump situation or from a lowest point, the, the formula will break down and you'll get no marks. So the best way to approach these questions is from a conservation of energy point of view. The kinetic energy will equal the total energy minus the gravitational potential minus the elastic potential. You can use the kinetic energy to then find the speed. To find more video tutorials, jump across to www.physicseducation.com.au. You can also access other free VCE resources such as quizzes, assessment tasks, a discussion board, and a question database. Enjoy.